Hey guys. So, last year, aka last decade, <laughs> my team Starstruck won first place in the NASA Space Apps Challenge College slash Professional Division. Um, and we got moved on to Globals and became a global finalist um, with all these other amazing teams and projects. And then a crazy thing happened this January. We won uh, first place in the world. Whoa. Uh, there were six categories, best use of data, hardware, science, uh, best mission concept, galactic impact, and most inspirational. And that's why my team won. We won most inspirational. So uh, we were invited with all these other teams uh, to go to NASA and share our experiences and get to watch the launch of the Mars 2020 rover, which is awesome. But unfortunately, because of the situation in the world right now, um, those activities are postponed for the summer. Instead, I decided to share my team's experience with you in a different way. I want to take you through a step-by-step -step journey through the creation of our project and what it was like for us to compete in this international hackathon. And by journey, I mean show you all the footage that I took while I was coding and sleep deprived. <laughs> so, let's go! To start off, I want to introduce you to my team. This is Team Starstruck, uh, Corey, Tristan, Eric, and me. We're all computer science majors, which means we're all massive dorks. And right now, I'm studying game design in school. So when I saw there was a challenge called Build a Planet that revolved around developing a game, obviously I was sold. Luckily, my team also uh, loves developing games, so they were on board. So, with the challenge chosen, we are ready to go. We showed up at the hackathon location super early so that we could make sure we got a space. Um, and this was great, except it meant that we were already kind of tired. First hackathon experience. Miserable. It's miserable. That was great. <laughs> what do you mean it's miserable? It's been amazing so far. Yeah. Space Apps 2019. <laughs> After going to all the panels at the beginning, we started to flesh out our game design. We decided on mechanics and UI, and ultimately the goal of the game. As it was an educational game, um, we wanted to make sure that we built the game around the idea that we wanted to encourage people to learn more about um, our solar system and about astrophysics in general. We had a lot of great bonding moments while we were working. Uh, we got interviewed by local news, which is cool. Um, and then we also got to meet some of our space and science heroes. Overall, the hackathon lasted for about a day and a half, which as you can imagine, is not a ton of time to develop a fully working game with all of the mechanics that we wanted. Um, some of us stayed up all night long. I remember Eric just being a total machine, um, deciding not to go to sleep. I drank so much tea. We had so much caffeine. Um, so around 6 a.m. the next day, um, things were pretty rough. <laughs> oh, and boy, oh, and boy, oh, and boy, oh, and boy, oh, and boy. Hi, half of our team is dying. <laughs> <laughs> I only had a few hours to film and actually cut together our submission video. Just keep doing what you're doing. It was incredibly nerve wracking. But we ended up submitting it with a few minutes to spare. I got the game up on my website and finally our submission was done. After we submitted our project, we went to the judging panel. I remember sitting there in the audience with my friends, being so incredibly tired, but so nervous and excited. We thought we had a pretty good chance of getting called to be a finalist and getting to present. I'm happy to announce our finalists for the 2019 NASA Space Apps Challenge. And then in our open division, which consists of college age and professionals, uh, populated risk, the wet bandits, <laughs> punks unlimited. And we weren't called. <laughs> And then, with an extreme plot twist, it turns out that they forgot to call us. What's that? We have, it's not on here. Starstruck? Okay, sorry, we had a tie for, <laughs> for that. So there's actually seven teams. I'm sorry, it wasn't on my sheet. Starstruck. So, 
after that excitement was over, we got in line with all the other teams to wait to be called to present. So in the background of the footage of other teams presenting, you can see me and my team just kind of pacing around. We didn't really have time to put together a speech or a presentation, so it kept me just like writing the entire speech on the notes app of my phone. <laughs> we were really only given a few minutes to present um, because there's so many teams, so we ended up showing our submission video and just speaking so quickly. <laughs> So here's a, a clip of us presenting. I believe that all 200 cities and countries are going to be better off as we go forward. And that to me is also a tremendous inspiration to keep on doing the International NASA Space Apps Challenge. Hi guys, good evening. Our team name is Starstruck. And this weekend we had the very exciting opportunity to solve the problem of building a planet. Um, which we did in a weekend. As you can see, we have our miniature solar system here with a star in the center and the planets orbiting around. Now, if I take a look around and I actually click on a planet, it pulls up the planet menu. So on our planet menu, you can see a whole lot of UI going on. What we wanted to do for this was create the ability for the user to go ahead and customize their planet with different chemical compositions, changing the mass, the distance from the star, and Corey is going to tell us a bit more about that. Awesome. So on the uh, UI here, you can see we have a lot of different options. Um, at the very top, you can kind of choose the type of planet you have, whether it's rocky or if it's a uh, gas uh, style. Um, Eric's clicking around on the buttons on the left side. We have different cho choices for atmospheres, and we wanted to really represent uh, some other planets that may exist uh, in, our, uh, in our galaxy. So we have the standard oxygen atmosphere as ours is, and we have things like methane and argon. And on the right side, we have different types of gas giants. Within our application too, we wanted to mention that aside from a few shaders that we pulled from open source, all of the code and all of the UI was done by us in a few hours from scratch. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Judges, you have two minutes to ask questions. What if it, let's hear it. Can we hear a standing? Let's give a stand up for this. In the end, when we were called up to win first place, we couldn't believe it. Uh, we were so surprised. Um, and that's when we had this really great joke from the presenter. <laughs> <laughs> They're starstruck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, awesome. Jan's here. If you want to watch our local or global video submission, I'm going to link those below. But before I sign off, I want to say thank you um, to NASA for this great opportunity that you put together um, to Urban Engine. They ran our local hackathon um, that we went to, and it was really, really awesome. To all of the mentors that volunteered, you guys were amazing, especially you know at 3 a.m. when we got stuck. Um, and thanks to my team winning a global NASA uh, international challenge, I know is a, a once in a lifetime thing. And I'm really grateful that I got to be part of it, um, but also to get a bit closer to my global community. You know, right now we're all stuck inside together. Um, but I hope this video has been inspirational to you to help you get out there metaphorically <laughs> um, and get creative. Um, so right now, NASA is hosting another uh, international challenge. It is the COVID-19 challenge. So I'm going to put the information down below as well, um, starting May 30th, so this Saturday. Um, and I hope that you participate and get involved in your global community too. Remember, every day is a great day for science. So, bye! <laughs>